And her dad went all the way to Australia. This is going to be the most exciting night of my life. Hello, uh, Mike here. Thank you so much for sending me this to read. Um, this is from When Are You Grown Up? Ideas About Getting Older from S1 Pupils at Leith Academy. It is called Older Rap by Kelvin F. I went to sleep at five, woke up at six, then I grabbed some Weetabix. Because I went to bed so late, walked to school with my mate. But when I'm older, there will be no school, because I'll be too cool. Maybe I'll be a soldier, until I hurt something like my shoulder. I'll come back to my wife and kids. Last I saw them was in some vids. Now this is chapter two. All this stuff is new. So here we go. This is the start. Also, the best part. So grab yourself a strawberry tart. When we get fired or quit from our job, we turn into a lazy slob. So we go for a retirement to get some money to pay rent for something surprisingly other than a tent. This is chapter three. Now I've got a dodgy knee and people want to be me. Now my kids are older and my body is getting colder. Also, I'm a granddad, so I'm not a young lad. Grown Up by Rebecca I'm 18 coming home from university after a busy day of studying. But now I'm 22, a nurse, walking into the sick kid's hospital, swerving past the front desk, waving cheerfully even though some dramatic things happen in here. For example, some children can die. That is very sad. I've always wanted to work with children. I feel I can make a difference. I'm now 24, travelling the world, helping people as I go. But with being an adult, responsibilities come into your life. Like taking care of others, but also yourself. Struggles also come into your life, like paying bills, cooking food for others and yourself. Now I am 26 and have travelled to many countries, Australia, Spain, France and many more, but I still come home to Edinburgh to see my friends and family. When you grow up, no matter what age you are, you lose friends and family. You make a mistake that maybe can or can't be fixed. Being a nurse, you have to remember all the things you learned at university. How to be safe and take care of yourself and others. You don't want to harm yourself or others. I am now 28 and still a nurse. I wish I could take a break and travel with my friends, but still, if anyone needed help, I would be there. Dear Me by Anastasia. C. Dear Me, it's 2019 and today it's a Thursday on the 25th of October. I'm now 30 years old and I'm still playing football in the darkness. And I'm now in the year 2049. I'm so excited to visit lads of different countries, even more than the ones I've already visited. I want to travel to each continent. My aim is to visit at least five countries on each continent. I'm very curious to see if the football we play in the UK is the same in all countries. I'll visit, which is one of the main reasons to travel a lot. What if there's a floating ball in other countries? What if the goalkeepers are wizards? What if you play with hockey sticks? What if you need to use your hands? To keep playing football, I had to stay out of the way of bad things. I was being offered drugs when I was younger, asked to be going out and getting drunk. I'm always working hard to get onto my national team, which would mean I get to travel to many amazing parts of the world. I'm always analysing, looking at all my teammates to figure out the way they play football so I can work better with them. I'm also trying to learn different languages because you don't know where you can end up playing football. I really used my resilience, getting through times my head went down thinking I can't cope. 
A good example of my resilience is when I got badly injured. I thought that was the end of football for me and I was more disappointed than ever. But then I thought, no, I'm not letting the injury kill my career, so I kept working hard to get over it. Sure, it took a long time, but finally I was back, match fit. And eventually it all paid off. After a while of being in the gym and getting fit again, I was finally back playing happier than ever. I will always remember my first game after the injury. When I Grow Up by Anne A. When I grow up, I want to be an engineer and I will do loads of art and maths. I will maybe either live in Edinburgh with my parents, big brother, or with my little sister. I can hopefully work at Edinburgh City Council. Maybe I would have a family. Maybe when you're grown up, you will have more responsibilities and you will become more independent. You can travel more and you will have to work hard. I think when I grow up, it will be a lot different than being a kid. For example, getting up early for work could be different because I might have learned how to drive. So instead of walking, I could take the car. Another thing that could be different is cooking because I might learn how to cook new food and I'll be the one cooking every day. Also, as a grown up, you're in charge of your own health. So you need to have a wise diet. As a grown up, there are lots of things you have to decide by yourself, like the time you go to bed and loads more. The picture will hopefully describe me in S6. Maybe I will be more mature than I am now. If I become an auntie, I want to be the best, most fun auntie, because I think that not all grown-ups are fun. Some can be fun and nice, but some might be the opposite. It all depends on the person. I know loads of fun grown-ups that still like playing games, but on the other hand, some are just boring. But personally, I want to have fun. I think when I'm older, I will have more goals because there will be loads more to achieve. I also want to be a good grown-up, which means I don't want to smoke or do anything I will soon regret. I think it can be hard for a grown-up because of all the challenges. Even getting a house, a job and more can be stressful, which can make a grown-up life not so fun. But despite that, I will hopefully be happy, healthy and a fun grown-up. I think when I grow up, my parents, family and friends will be proud of me and the decisions I've made. I'm sure everyone's parents will be proud of their grown-up kids. And that's what I think it'll be like when I'm older. The end. P.S. I will retire, relax and hopefully be healthy. I will be a grandmother for as long as I live. Hopefully a hundred years. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Matt Kennard and I'm going to be reading from the chat book When Are You Grown Up? by S1 Pupils at Leith Academy. When Are You Grown Up? by Kieran. Being grown up's bad part. Being grown up doesn't mean that you can do anything. It means you have responsibilities. You have to keep your house in order, your family healthy and you have to keep yourself healthy. Being an adult means you are physically an adult, but it doesn't mean you are a grown up. You have to be able to make the right decisions and be the bigger person. For example, if your son or daughter came home crying, saying they were being bullied or being hurt by someone, you wouldn't tell them to hurt the person. You could tell them to try and sort the problem out or if it's serious and the other person is using a weapon or saying horrible things, you could talk to their parents or the police and they could sort things out. But don't tell your kid to hurt them or say anything bad about them or their family because sometimes Words can hurt more than a punch to the face because the bruises will heal, but some words won't. When you're over 18, you can go to bars and parties and loads of other places. Sometimes you can find bad people who try to sell you drugs and other things. I 100% recommend that you do not take any or it might ruin your life. 
being grown ups good part responsibilities the good part about being grown up is you have the freedom to do what you like you could travel travel with your friends or with your family you can watch whatever movies you want you can go to the pubs clubs and parties as long as you're safe and responsible you can study and do the jobs you want when i'm older I want to own a boxing gym or be a boxer. I want to go to university too. When I'm older, I could move out of Edinburgh, but I'm not going to. When you're older or grown up, you can be yourself. You can be you. You can write your own story. Wear what you want. You can wear a shiny gold cape if you want. Jobs. You can pursue your dream. You can be a police officer or a builder or a boxer. I'm training to be a boxer. I'm getting my first fight in a few weeks. Some grown-ups become lawyers or accountants. Hobbies, passions. You could go swimming, camping or hiking. You can do sports like football, rugby, skiing and so much more. Reading is a very popular hobby. You can get books that you can't take seriously and there are really serious books that make you want to lock yourself in a dark room and cry. Choices. When you're grown up, you always have to make the right choice. If you have the choice to go out with friends and get drunk or stay home and study to get the job you want, would you ruin your life just to go out to a club or something or get the best job ever? It's your choice. Dreams. My dream is to be a boxer or own a gym. My dream is to have the WBC title around my waist. When I Grow Up by Alice, age 12. In the future, I want to be a successful independent adult. I don't know what I want to do, but all I want to do is make a difference, no matter how big or how small. When I was younger, I wanted to be a scientist. I wasn't that much into science, but I thought making a difference meant changing the world for the better. I thought I would be a research biochemist because then I could make medicine to cure people. Now that I'm older, I'm not so sure. On one hand, I like maths, which could get me a job on the corporate side. On the other hand, I enjoy music and art. That could get me a job doing something I love. Currently, the world could go two ways. The world could be very advanced, using renewable energy, solving climate change. On the other hand, it could be a total mess. The world could carry on churning out oil, melting icebergs and flooding towns, cities and countries. Which way will it go? Can we decide our future? I hope my family is still close, but only time can tell. Many of my family members are older and if our climate gets worse, then it could affect their health. I don't really want any children, but I want a dog, preferably a dachshund. I think that if I was an adult now, I wouldn't like it because since there is a lot of time until I think I'm an adult, I'll be ready then. Being an adult has pros and cons. When you're an adult, you can travel around the world by yourself. Personally, I'd like to go to Tokyo and not need your parents to come with you. You can drive, get married, have children, drink alcohol. But when you're grown up, you don't always have someone who does things for you, like clean your house and pay your taxes. You have to pay for your own stuff and work for your own money. You have more laws that apply to you and worse punishments when you break them. I think being an adult will be good for some, bad for others. It will be the best of times and the worst of times. It's all just a matter of opinion. When I Grow Up by Alan G from the chat book When Are You Growing Up? written by S1 pupils at Leith Academy. When I grow up, I would like to be a successful mechanic that gets paid a lot of money. And I hope that one of my friends comes and gets the same job as me, so I'm not alone. I'm good to start when I'm 18. 
But it would be quite a hard job to do because you have to remove parts and wear safety gloves and gear. And I hope that I get a good car of mine and a good house. The car I want is a GTR Nissan with neon lights and Bluetooth speakers in the back of my car. I would also like to get purple wheels on my car with a loud tuner exhaust. I would also like to get a good girlfriend of mine that is blonde with blue eyes and supports me when I need help. I read car and motorbike books all the time from the school library and I learn more and more every time I read a new book. I have read a lot of books now. So many that I, I, I can't keep count of them. My business is called Easy Tires. You get free food and drinks, you get to test drive cars and help with things like adding and removing parts and motorcycles and cars and any vehicle. The average salary in Scotland is £29,640 a month, which is pretty good. But it will be a hard job to do. You would need a lot of practice to be successful in this job. Mm -hmm.